in three, two, one. What's going on, folks? Welcome to 34 Questions. I'm your host, 34. And tonight, I have a very special guest. Kyle from work is in the building. How you doing, Kyle? I'm doing great, bro. I'm, I'm happy I'm here. I, uh, I got my setup going on. Hello, everyone. Welcome to 34 Question. My name is Kyle from work. Um, you could cut you could cut that out or restitch it to where I introduced it first if, if needed. But uh, yeah, no, <laughs> I'm doing great, man. Um, am I allowed to uh, drink in the show? Absolutely. Do do you, man? Do you? Uh, cheers, Dude. cheers. Uh, I see you looking fly with that blazer. Yeah. You know, I thank like I like it. I like it. Um, but uh, yeah, thank you for coming on. Thank you for being open to share your story uh, sure. and making time. I know time is valuable, so. I definitely appreciate it. Uh, Thank you, man. Let's let's get weird. Let's get deep, bro. Oh, absolutely. This is this is what we're here for. This is yeah, what we're here for. All hard questions. All hard. All right. That, that sounds good. <laughs> I'm with it. I'm with it. Uh, for for okay, the folks, let's go. <laughs> for the folks out there who are unfamiliar with the flow of the show, we do some <laughs> intro questions, some warm up questions, just to set the tone. Um, afterwards, we'll start getting into the to the numbers um there are two ways you can go about it you could choose your fate by choosing your own numbers or we can go over to the wheel of fate um where you know we spin the wheel and you answer how however it lands it's up to you think about it when we get there you can choose and uh, after all that we'll, we'll head to the final stretch where we have just some the final questions sound good to you kyle <laughs> all right man. i didn't see the wheel before that wheel looks sick <laughs> Right, I know it's a new thing, man. Like all the episodes you've probably seen ha has not been part of it. So, like, yeah, this you're, you're part of that new wave, or like, you know, second season if you want to call it. But <laughs> go hey, ahead. real quick, everyone, everyone, fucking subscribe, please, because <laughs> this this man has the premium of everything. Like, I, went to, I went to your link tree, right, and everything was like all organized, and you could like put put like playlists and stuff. I was like. I was like, oh god, that must that must be on premium, right? <laughs> it isn't though. I'll tell you, it's a secret. That what? that the Spotify playlist thing is not premium. You just what? grab, yeah, you just make a playlist on Spotify, put your link in there. Anybody can do it. So there you go, what? man. Okay, yeah, dude. go for it. Yeah, show Still, show the bro, people. The man is committed, bro. <laughs> Thirty four. Oh man, and every day, every day is a growth. <laughs> you know, like you're trying to grow every day. So thank thank you for saying that, man. Honestly, I have a hard time like self promotion wise. So. Definitely, I'm, I'm gonna cut that clip and use it to promote some, some oh, shit yeah. later on. Yeah. <laughs> but for sure, for sure. Uh, well, man, you know, let's start off with uh, my very first question is uh, how have you been? It's been a crazy couple of years. Uh, I see you hustling, doing your thing uh, in, the, in the comedy industry, uh, mm -hmm. but you've been doing well, you've been doing great. How you been lately, man? Thank you. Um, the the um the extremes of both you know what i'm saying uh like i just moved out of my folks place first time uh i'm 25 i don't and like i'm realizing that's weird for people like outside of california right is that a oh. thing and i'm just like yeah. and i'm just like whoa it's like the difference between like thinking this like yeah for sure i have my freedom to just like oh god this is everything bro the good and the bad and then work does this thing and then and then you know shows get canceled because uh someone um was um what's the word um in contact um with uh with a uh, COVID 19 that happened one time but uh you know like everyone's trying their best and whatever you're putting out comes back in and it's just been really the the extremes of of this of everything and then everything in between you feel me oh yeah yeah, yeah I mean, like little bit little bad and the big bad big goods you know what i'm saying it sounds yeah. like you're experiencing life for sure at, at, in the fullest it's crazy dude yeah <laughs> <laughs> life, life is pretty bananas months. man <laughs> oh what was that what'd you say it's been two months <laughs> Since you moved out, it's been two months I on your own. Rent once, bro, and I'm just like, oh god, the second one's coming. Yeah, <laughs> and then the next, and then the next, man. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, congrats, congrats on moving out. Uh, that's that's Thank still you, something bro. I'm trying to do. Uh, I, I stay with my folks still, and I'm 31, so you you got me beat, man. 
um so just... mad mad respect uh, <laughs> uh eventually eventually i'll uh i'll grow up and be like you someday <laughs> but uh, not at all bro i had to go <laughs> I hear you, man. I mean, I, I'm afraid I've gotten to that point where it's like it's not that it's too late, but it's like now I'm I'm trying I'm starting to like appreciate being around my folks and like you know trying to like spend as much time as I can before you know bad things happen. Sure. So like I'm like, damn it! Like just just last year, I was like I wanted to get out, and then now it's like oh maybe I should maybe I should. That. That. That's that's definitely what I miss the most. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but like shit's heavy dude <laughs> okay so one of my favorite th- i bought my own fucking vacuum cleaner right it's just like handheld it's less than seven pounds but the one my parents have since like 1992 is like the ones where you assemble it and it's it's like the the nozzle part and then this part and then it rolls and they keep it in the highest part and when i moved <laughs> out i was just like how the fuck are they gonna vacuum bro <laughs> bruh yeah like that, dude. yeah I mean, it's like they're not gonna use any new fucking vacuum because that was still works. You know what I'm saying? So it's like <laughs> it's, it's it's realities like that that are just like whoa. Yeah, man. It, that it, is it, literally it, what I miss the most. <laughs> it's vacuum. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a simple thing. It's a simple thing sometimes, you know. Uh, but for sure, sure. I'm moving on to some of the warm up questions. Uh, this one is, what would you like the audience to know about you? Um, can I shamelessly plug something real quick? Absolutely. Do you, man. Do you. It's Please. all good. All right. Thank you, man. Fucking, yo, I was supposed to drop a raffle today, but I can wait till after this drops. Uh, I'm <laughs> off this here uh, summer 2020, 20, uh, summer 2021 ba- backpack. Uh, comes with the magazine the box i had to open it i did an unboxing video on my tiktok if you look for it i'm wearing like a naruto jacket right? oh i saw it man. Yeah. i saw it i, I thought you are <laughs> i didn't yeah i was like wondering about that because i hadn't seen the reveal yet but yeah 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 go go for it <laughs> tell, tell me more yeah, tell me yeah, more. i'll extend this another week because like i want more people to play this is fucking i tried to to promote it on instagram and it said quality was too low to promote and i was like well geez you know what I'm saying? I was like, like the quality of the video. And uh, I was like, I was directly from, it, from from TikTok. What the fuck? But anyways, like, yeah, dude. I was like, I'm gonna try to get, get more people and shit. So, uh, backpack thing. Um, if you're around me, I'll I'll drive it to you. But oh yeah. shit, yeah. <laughs> we'll see, bro. That's what's up, man. Yeah, you know, it's funny. That's I think that's that's Instagram discriminating against TikTok right there. <laughs> sure, They're like, yeah, you're um, you're they will put you lower in the algorithm if you uh if you upload it with the with the watermark mm. yeah. and it's wild so every fucking every like youtube like oh you should use this for tiktok there's one there's one app that everyone used to take off the watermark and i try to use it and they were like oh this uh we some shit went down basically like we can't offer that service anymore but we're trying to figure it out and i was like dang this is crazy dude they got sued. <laughs> this, is, me, that is, this is wild. This is a weird experience. Excuse me. No, no, you good, man. Uh, I mean, sounds like you you want you want game with all the social media stuff, man. I'm gonna have to ask you like some advice because <laughs> I'm I am not on that. I'm, you know, I'm trying to do TikTok and trying mm-hmm. to do it in a way where like I can post the podcast clips on there, but that doesn't get traction on there. Like people aren't going to TikTok to listen to a podcast, so it's I, like, yeah, wow. you know. I gotta navigate it a little differently, trying to figure that part out. Um, right. But yeah, maybe I just gotta hire like a teenager to to do everything for me. I'm, <laughs> saying, <laughs> I'm saying, bro, it's so quick. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, dude, I uh, I I did some work, and my boss gave me this uh, this book called like the TikTok Bible. It's like a little PDF. You could probably find it. It's like a like a 50 page read, but it's like two paragraphs a page every two pages. That type of shit. Hella easy read. And taught me everything dude like when to post like how to set up uh set up the algorithm to work for you and shit it's it's dope okay, dude okay I'll, I'll, i will i will link you right on yeah yeah you dude, know i think everyone everyone who's down read that book dude it, it changed the game bro really really yeah, it's like, like that case studies too, just like oh this tiktok phenomenon was started because of this because of these factors blah blah blah, blah. i got you yeah I'm, I'll, I'll definitely check it out let you let me know put drop some game on me <laughs> Uh, sure. you know for, for me it's a lot of like analysis by or paralysis by analysis type shit where like it 
because you know I, I know the sources are out there the resources are out there but for me right. i'm just like damn when i get to it am i already too late the algorithm change are there new trends like <laughs> feel me <laughs> And I was like, fuck, man, I'm always behind. I'm never, I'm never ahead of the curve. I'm always like, you know, trying to I'm catch up. Too. Yeah. I'm saying Yeah, man. No, I hear you, bro. You know, right, right before this interview, right? Like I had this thing, like, I mean, I typically don't care, but because we are in this nature of our, our, our business or our industry or what we do, we have to kind of care about social media. So I was just hella stressing the day. Like, damn, I didn't post anything today fuck like <laughs> you know and and i'm thinking to myself like after this i'm probably not going to post anything today and i'm like right. you know i just gotta let it go i gotta be okay with it i gotta like <laughs> shit shit that i wouldn't stress out about before you know <laughs> like you <laughs> like that shit gets existential sometimes bro why it's why just, why like, am i doing like, this <laughs> Like if you if you like like I I need to post by 3 p.m. That's when everyone's active, and then I miss 3 p.m. and you're like, fuck, bro. Like this shit is hard. Man. I miss my shot. I just I should just quit right <laughs> exactly. now. You know? like, I was like I was like I if I miss it two days in a row, fuck, bro. Yeah, man. Like, uh, yeah. Bro. It, it does feel that way. Feel that way. But <laughs> uh, <laughs> let, let's get this the second warm up question real quick. Um. If someone were to pay you a tribute, how would you like to be honored? So if I was going to tell myself today, I'm going to do something in the honor of Kyle, what what sort of act could I do for you? <laughs> I, I went totally off topic, but so <laughs> I've told everyone that for my death, I want a Viking funeral where they they push me on a raft and like my body and someone like my best friends will take turns shooting the air flaming arrow and they all just watch me leave right like that's that's the dream and when you're like if you could pay me a tribute i thought that's i was like oh but, and then you're like oh so but i'm still alive like all right fuck it, I'll just <laughs> see. so so put me on a raft and you get the first arrow <laughs> if you miss you gotta pass it down <laughs> that sounds like a fun game to be honest i mean i I'm i <laughs> I know the Vikings, you know, they have a special purpose for it, but, you know, hey, I mean, like, if you can swim, that's not that's such a big deal, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> hey, now we know, man, now we know if, uh, if you ever sure, want to pull that off, actually, that'd probably be great content for, for <laughs> whatever you're doing, you know, people will want to tune into that. Come through and vlog it, bro. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it. Oh, there we go. There we go. we could we could do a tribute for you is if we blog, you know, something that you do. You know, it could be like your show or we, you know, any of those oh, things. Sure, we could yeah. always repost, promote. Oh, for sure. I know you, oh, you feel dude, me. I'm all about it. <laughs> for sure. And uh, my last question for the warm up is: uh, on a scale from one to ten, how well do you know yourself? Between six and seven. Seven on a good six, but seven on a good day. There you go. Yeah. Sure. Well, why? Why? Why would, you, why would you say you you land there? Just feels right. Yeah. Just just feel. I'm I'm not a yeah six six to seven out of out of ten. That's a that's a that's a C student of a life. I was like I feel, I feel like a C student. <laughs> as yeah, like my life is a C right now. Like it's it's cool. You know, it's it's good. <laughs> I got you. I got you. You know, I think the scale's like, why isn't five a C? You know, or like fifty percent a C. You feel me? Like, <laughs> isn't that where it's supposed to be? Yeah. Like, <laughs> That's hella funny, actually. I never thought of that. Hey, use it, man. You use it. Man. I, I want to see you using your act now. Like, <laughs> just bring it oh, up. Oh shit! I'm so down. Bro. You, you name it, bro. <laughs> you got it. You got it. Um, what, what would you say is your favorite thing about your personality? um i like i like things like i just i fucked with extracurriculars a lot i loved it way more than school like since as long as i can remember and it was, it was just like i want to try everything and then by the end i ended up 
with coffee and chips and like that's cool like it feels it feels dope <laughs> for sure for sure uh yeah tell me more about comedy is this has this been dr- a dream or a reality for you for a long time or is it something that's a little more recent for you um fairly like like post puberty i wanted to be like <laughs> yeah, i think i got like you. 17 18 right but before that i was doing music in like theater in high school and shit and um i was super into it like it, it was it was part of my identity i was like kyle the singer you know what i mean and then the more i got into it i just realized i i didn't love the art that enough to learn more and i um and i also like just i couldn't find a way to fully express myself because like like this is the time of like filipinos owning the youtube cover world the acoustic cover worlds and the medleys that was our shit from like 2008 to 14 or something like that oh right? yeah the, pa- so the passions of the was, world <laughs> exactly bro so i was like what's the difference between me and anyone i was like i don't know it was like a whole lot of like how do i express what i am you know and then eventually it just became like oh this is with comedy it's like no one has my timing no one has my stories my storytelling you know what i'm saying like it felt like this is this is me and like you could go from (laughs) in a song you got what like a couple topics and then we were a joke you could go from like eggplants to dicks to having your first (laughs) child (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> um, I think Dave Chappelle said that like comedy is where you get to use all your knowledge, and I was like, and I fucked with that. Yeah, that's that's pretty dope. Yeah, that's a good yeah. saying. <laughs> uh, what's it called? <laughs> oh, so you did music and you're doing comedy. Mm-hmm. What would you say was harder, like, to get up on stage and perform? I imagine for some reason I imagine comedy's harder, like. I don't know. You can tell me though. Am I wrong? Or how, how do you feel about that? Um, I, I don't know how to say this right, but like, I, no, I, oh, the longer I, 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 I make this last, the cockier it sounds fucking, I didn't <laughs> feel much stage fright until like college right i was always excited to go on stage no matter what it was like if anything i was it was the butterflies that got me like wanting to wanting to like fuck around with other people backstage there's like i don't know you know just like had too much energy like i was always too excited and then there was this time in, in like college where everything just went downhill and then that's when i i fucking i i actually felt like nervous like i remember it was like a uh um <laughs> i remember it was a um it was a club where like it, you, they give you feedback for your jokes and shit and i was real confident i think i think i did the did my bit what i really what I really wanted really well but i remember um as they were um as they were giving me feedback it was good feedback and i was listening but i my hands were shaking so like i was like i've never felt this before and then that went on for a while. I took a break and then uh, it came back. Or like I started like uh, same club, same people. Like I, I I did a show just like, let's just fucking have fun. And then and then it's been up and up ever since. So like um, when it, I, I feel like when it comes to am I, what, what, what's more uh, fearful to go up on stage was for me between music. And I, I feel like all the things built up and built on top of each other to build my comedy like stage presence or whatever you know so um fucking hold on oh you're good man you're good <laughs> oh yeah, yeah yeah so yeah this is like not yeah not to sound too cocky but yeah i was never fucking uh, <laughs> i hear you I, and i mean like from from that moment where you were i guess you know you felt that nervousness and to where you are now it's like the more right. you do it, the le- like the more it disappears, right? Like every time right. you go on stage, would you? Is that true for you? Would you say that? For sure. Um, yeah. I I I saw this thing. I, I like quotes and I like words a lot. So I saw this thing. Uh, Joe Rogan on his podcast was talking to Tom Segura. Love him. Uh, and fucking, he was saying, I um, I've never had a bad show when I was uh, when I was having fun. 
you know, if I'm not comparing myself to everyone else that's like going up, like, oh, is this funny as this guy? Or like, I was like, oh, this guy's good, but wait till they see my shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like every time I've gotten to those parts, those were the worst shows I've ever had. So it's just like focus on a good time. And like, another thing Jim Rogan said was like, I won't be loose, but focus. <laughs> like that. Well, say that yeah. one more time. What do you say? I want to be loose, but focused. Loose and focused. Yeah. Yeah. No, I feel yeah, you. I, I feel you on that. Uh, all right. Well, uh, we, we made it to the, the question portion of the podcast <laughs> or the, the number portion. Now, would you like to choose your own destiny by choosing your numbers or do you want to turn into the wheel of fate? Uh, which way are we going? Let's let's. Which one's the hardest? <laughs> Well, I mean, well, the hardest, there's there's three levels, easy, medium, hard. And if uh-huh. you want to go all hard, let's go all hard. Um, let's go all hard. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> e- either way, though, it, it, it could be you choosing numbers or it could be the, the wheel. Okay. Do, you, do you have oh, numbers you want to choose, like lucky numbers or oh, for sure. just like. Um, I want to do four, but I, I really want to do the, the wheel first. Let's say <laughs> let, cool. let's say four for the end. Let's say four for the end. Yeah, let's do right. that. Here please. we go then. Four, four, Wheeling four. it. <laughs> I got you. You're gonna have to explain that uh four 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 thing to me. Like why why oh, is, sure, why you chose sure. that? But it looks like your first number is twenty one. Let's go. So twenty one hard. That question is uh what do you pray for? Oof. Um abundance. Um, I, I had the pleasure of working with this one manager. You know, that manager that was just fucking dope. You know what I mean? Taught me about, uh, spirituality and like meditation and like my spirit animal and like shit about evolution and stuff like that. And, um, one time, one day I was talking, this was like, as, um, as I'm just like, I was like, I'm, I'm really starting to get serious about this comedy stuff. He tells me just like when you when you when you try to manifest, um, and I'm saying manifest in the form of any type of prayer, uh, don't ask for the wealth or the gift, ask for the abundance. The abundance can mean the wealth and the gift, but also the abundance of happiness and all the other shit tied with it. And I was like, and he was telling me like he, he's like, you could see um person x person y on tv or whatever it's like you could tell when they're doing it for the 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 wealth and the benefits or if they're doing it for the abundance and i was like oh god damn i love this boss yeah Yeah, that's 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 a different way of thinking about it man to pray (laughs) for the abundance i got you i got you i'm with it for the ride you know what i'm saying let me uh (laughs) so i had i had a psychic on the show one time I, I don't want to call her psychic because she doesn't like being called that, but um, I guess. yeah, I, f- I forgot what term she used. It started with an R, a Reiki or re- re- something like Ooh. that. I don't know if you've, you've heard know. that, but mm-hmm. um, anyways, one of the things she added, she told me there was four parts of manifestation. And, uh, you know, I think one of them was, you know, you were talking about abundance, but the one that mm-hmm. stu- stuck out to me was, the, uh, um, you know, the, you got to be grateful. So like, as you manifest, you also just say thank you, like you already got it, you know, kind of thing. Um, so that's maybe wow. that's something to add to to you know how how you see things. But oh, yeah. Fuck yeah, yeah, dude. Like thank oh, thank the man. universe, like you already got it. That's something that she told me, and I'm all like, thank for sure. the universe, like you already got it. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's yeah. sick, dude. Yeah, I mean, it, it's just oh, adding. Man. It's adding to like. Oh, you know, praying for the abundance, and then you know, right. also right. like you already got the abundance. So, yeah. Right. Uh, sure. But just wanted to share that part. Uh, but yeah, man. I mean, <laughs> good manager. So, so, go ahead. Sorry. Go go. No, I'm just I'm just tripping, bro. Like yeah. that's dope. Yeah, the Dude. words, right? Like you were talking about how how words are I powerful. Words, yeah. Yeah. Uh, any uh like if i was gonna ask you your favorite quote which one comes to mind first i know it might not be the one but the first one that comes to mind what, what would you say is the one uh I, I i had a really big uh fucking adventure time phase and i'm pin right here oh god here this is a mirror image okay. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's embarrassing. It happens, bro. It happens. Don't worry. 
<laughs> anyway, so yeah, there, there, there's like the Duke of Nuts or whatever. <laughs> and he goes, um, messing up is a uh, messing up is a part of growing up, and we never stop growing. And yeah, so like, we're always oh, messing up. <laughs> we're always growing. Like I relate to that. I relate to that for yeah, sure. <laughs> cool, dude. Oh, uh, what's it called? Um, well, let me let me segue real quick. I saw I watched this brand not brand new, but I saw this new show, first season, maybe like eight episodes, just last night. I don't know if you heard of it, called People of Earth. No. Yes, no? You heard Look of it? it well, People. People of Earth. It's a it's about this uh what's it called? This this reporter who's investigating a group of people who are in a support group of alien abductions so it's like people who think they've been abducted and they're like yeah yeah you check it out bro check it out that's it oh it's on bro (laughs) let's go (laughs) this is just in the pilot and i'm sure you'll appreciate it because like it is words but it's funny how they tied it in like the thing that all the aliens tell you when you're abducted right and before they send you back they say you are very special. <laughs> That's what the aliens tell you before they send you back. It's like, you are very special. I'm like, damn, yo. Like, <laughs> That's what people need to hear sometimes. And like, t- you get it from an alien? Something. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know why that was like, it hit me in a way where I was like, yo, that would be a trip. That's what aliens were telling us. Like, <laughs> Damn, bro. They know how to get a text back, bro. I'm just like, <laughs> I feel you. <laughs> hey, I mean, sometimes we learn from shit like that, but uh, I hear you. I'm, I'm gonna give it another spin real quick. Here we go. Fuck yeah. But yeah, now check that one. Uh, oh, ooh, nice. We got a shout out that out question so you know you don't necessarily have to like name drop anybody if you don't want to but uh this one is whose opinion do you value the most oh that's a curveball isn't it you tricky guy <laughs> you saw the curveball wow. i mean this is a shout out <laughs> question <laughs> whose opinion uh i feel like i could perform in front like Oh shit! This is how it goes. I'll, I'll, okay, ignore what I what I said before. So <laughs> when I did get nervous, <laughs> I'm full of shit, dude. We, hey, we all do. We all get nervous. nervous. We all get nervous, bro. <laughs> when I did get nervous, it wasn't in front of like strangers. Like it, it didn't matter for the strangers. It was with like people I like, my friends and my family. Like that was that was scary. I remember going like I was like oh I got the show like yeah <laughs> like over over the group chat just like I, I was like I got a show later uh you could come uh, or or not uh it's it's cool either way like I, like you could tell and they were like whether you want us to come or not like it's just it's cool bro and yeah <laughs> well, well, why do you <laughs> think that is world. yeah like, why, why do you bro, think it's, yeah. fuck everyone else's opinion but the bros and the homies and the family bro that's 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 forever man yeah (laughs) they they could talk shit to you afterwards and like 10 years later you know (laughs) it's like i don't know maybe like i want to i want to present everything on a silver platter you know to the to the homies you know hey i mean you know for for me i feel like it's because i want to make them proud you know like I, I want yeah. them to feel like yo that's that's my boy up there like you know they, oh, i don't want them sure. to be embarrassed you know like if if i bomb they're like oh, i don't know that guy like <laughs> that's not my son like <laughs> you know shit like that <laughs> yeah man i think that's what it is at least for me because I, I get i get it um you know my first dream was to be a rapper so like sure. when i was out there on stage and you know and it was dope man like my, my fam always kind of like supported me and you know, all my cousins were out there. It didn't matter how I felt like I did. I'd be coming off like, damn, I was sweating too much up there. Like, <laughs> I know everyone could see like the fucking like wetness coming out of my shirt. And then, you know, my fam would be like, nah, man, you killed it. You was doing great. <laughs> you know, so, you know, you got to have them up there. But uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, what was the first show you remember doing? 
like what was the first uh time you got on stage you remember that day for for comedy uh yeah let's do comedy first i, w- I was kind of thinking like of, like of your whole life you know but first uh-huh. comedy what was the show how'd it go uh, and yeah <laughs> so um there was an open mic for my uh my college's uh filipino club right and uh, they hosted it in a chapel and uh you were supposed to get five to ten minutes and someone's going to give you the light to go off at like five and then again at nine or something like that something like that right so i go up uh and it's I go up and it's, like this Filipino club is very active. It was very nice to see. Shout out, um, shout out Akbay at SJSU. Um, Spartan up. I was just kidding. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> um, but um, yeah, there were hella people there. And uh, I remember blanking out, blanking out, forgetting everything that I planned. And I stole the exact number or the exact opening that donald glover did in his weirdo special like 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 damn near word for word and i was just like what the fuck am i doing dude? <laughs> did anyone notice was there like looks that you saw or like the homies oh <laughs> <laughs> the homies <laughs> they were just like i was like that 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 fucker loves that special dude <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, speaking of Donald Glover, you, uh, who's a who? Who would you say is your inspirations, or like, and anybody that you know you feel like you've been influenced by as far as your comedy style? Comedy style. Um, uh, shout out Che Guerrero. Uh, I took a I took a what's it called a, a comedy class, a virtual one, and uh, he taught it, and he's. He put me on TikTok game as well. He helped my TikTok game for sure. He taught me about finding niches and like how to like, once you find your niche, you take it. Like he would would just be like, be like, like, don't worry on all as much as you bomb right now. Just like, just focus on finding your voice, find your style. Like once that person, like you find that, then like, it's just going to come out. And I was like, yeah, that's crazy. He's like, nice guy. My undocumented ass on, uh, on TikTok. He's uh he does political humor about being undocumented dope ass guy uh fuck yeah shout out it was che guerrero che guerrero the show shout out shout out uh that's what's up i'll I'll definitely check him out and i'll I'll see if uh i can see that influence you know (laughs) through you through you Uh, (laughs) hey i gotta ask what, what are you sipping on uh this is Four Roses Bourbon. Four Roses Bourbon. How how you liking it? Is that your is that your go to? It's, it's good. I've, I've I got over. <laughs> I I got into whiskey over like quarantine and shit. I remember because like my boss was like, you know, they say alcoholism went up a percentage, and I was like, damn, <laughs> that sucks. Thinking I wasn't part. I was like, oh shit, I've been drinking a glass and a half a night, dude. Just like <laughs> just trying to like learn about the tastes and shit. Yeah, but I I love I I like bourbon the most. It's like the sweeter one, but Scotch and Ireland. That's 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 the one that punches you. <laughs> well, which one? Scotch. Scotch and Irish, I believe. Mm, or, yeah. or like, but bourbon's got like like they added molasses. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you do your southern draw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think, I think I think that's the story. This is going Hold off on. like YouTube shit, but. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I got you. I got you. Oh, you this know, one, I this is the only one like I've had been able to have like without ice. Other ones, it's just like I need it diluted with something. Mm-hmm. But uh, this one. Oh, uh, one more time. It was the Irish Rose bourbon. It was a uh, Four Roses bourbon. Four, four Roses yeah, bourbon. Like, All right. It's like twenty bucks. Yeah. Apparently, bourbon is not that expensive too. Like, <laughs> like I found this one. I forgot the YouTube thing, but it was like it was like um, what was the word? It, it was like like oh we're sommeliers like we're experts of want of a uh, wine and drinking drinks and shit and they do all the t- smell tests and they know the notes or whatever fucking they i did their whiskey ones and they were all like fucking you could buy them at target for the bourbons and i was just like <laughs> That's, like i don't know if i could trust that but it's so far so good you know what i mean <laughs> 
no, no, I hear you. <laughs> I was like, I was like, this is kind of too good to be true, but I was like, I'm in my bag. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, mean, I mean, honestly, I have like, I haven't tried too You know, I mean, honestly, I haven't tried too many bourbons. I'm more of a, you know, a smoker than a drinker out there. But uh, yeah, <laughs> I, yeah. And when it comes to drinking, I'm, I'm all about the tequila. Even though I heard recently that that people have been saying that tequila is not a real drink. <laughs> that's, like, a, that's offensive dude <laughs> that's what i thought but they were like so tequila is for beginners no those are you know you're not a real drinker if you drink a tequila and i'm like oh damn it i what? thought i found <laughs> i'm so offended tequila tequila drunk's the best that shit gets me to dance bro like yeah, yeah. <laughs> no and i guess it's one of the uppers like there's only a couple drinks out there that are uppers everything else kind of like brings you down so i don't know yeah i, I fuck with tequila heavy just just for that fact you know i, I definitely the only up was for loco <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> four loco is that? I know they're still making them. I just haven't they're had one in like. You ever, ten. you ever have four loco and Mickey's? Not together? Hell no. Nah. Yeah, dude. My friend was just like, "Hey, bro, let's try four loco and Mickey's," and we all tried. We're like, "This is horrible," and we all like, no one threw up, but we were all hungover. <laughs> At least you didn't throw up. At least you didn't throw up. I mean, my worst combination was like, uh, I don't know if you had Swaza before. You ever heard of Swaza? It's, it's a five dollar like handle from like Safeway of tequila. It's like the cheapest shit you can buy. Yeah. But um, okay. and uh, I I chased that with soy milk because it was the only thing I had, and it was <laughs> <laughs> so that that combo. Yeah, I don't think anyone else in the world has tried that combo but me. But uh, I was desperate and I needed Chase, and that's all I had with soy milk <laughs> with my liquor. <laughs> oh shit! So, you know what's hella Filipino? <laughs> what is? So I remember like one of my best friends in middle school, like when we had a sleepover, <laughs> like we were playing Halo 3 and shit. <laughs> and then we stopped downstairs and we like sipped on his dad's scotch and we're like, oh, this is fucking gross. And then we just ate a bunch of pandesal. <laughs> <laughs> to get the taste out. <laughs> they're like, this is fucking gross. <laughs> hey, it soaks it up. The pandesal is dry as fuck sometimes. <laughs> Oh, damn, that's hella funny. That's a good memory, man. That is hella Filipino. <laughs> hella Filipino. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. I don't know if you noticed, but I had spun the wheel while we were in conversation. Oh, shit. But um, it landed on a FITB, which is another curveball. You've been getting all the curveballs today, man. Uh, yeah. um, this is a fill in the blank. And uh -huh. yours, it will be I'm too young to blank. Oh, I'm too young for new slang. I it's, think, I think, I think I'm done. I think lit is the last cool thing I'm gonna get to say, and that just doesn't feel right anymore. I was watching <laughs> Jersey Shore and they were saying lit, and I was like, I don't know if I can do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh that, damn, that's how long lit was. Was Jersey Shore? Or Jersey Shore, like, 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 uh, Polly and Vinny, uh, shot at love too. <laughs> I got invested with that shit. <laughs> and, like, and like, that's like 2019 and they ended on 2020. So it was like, it was like, it was still like recent. It was like, fuck, that's really interesting. It's cool, man. I mean, I'm yeah. stuck in the 90s with, with my slang, uh, for sure. <laughs> you know, I say, I still say tubular, you know? <laughs> like, oh, that's sick, dude. But, uh, Bro, I, I love slang, dude. Hey, it's words, man. And, like how words change and all this shit changes um you know what gets me are acronyms you know like acronyms. when they they give me a long ass acronym sometimes like what the fuck does that mean like <laughs> and then uh you know like which one did i see like if you know if if you get it you get it or if you know you know my best see i got it wrong right there <laughs> i like the i i why yeah, you, you know what I'm talking about. I seen it and I'm all like, what the fuck is that? And then it clicks. <laughs> but uh, I think mean, kids are just doing I'm, it. <laughs> I'm old enough where those stuff, I stepped, they stopped clicking for me. I saw one recently where I was like, oh, I don't know what that says. I remember <laughs> roll on the floor laughing and then a bunch of other shit. And I was like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I feel like they're just fucking with us. They're fucking with the older folks. They're like, oh, we're going to make them think this is something when it's really just bullshit, you know? Like, <laughs> Do you know what I think about fucking social media? Right? High thought, right? Tell me. Tell me. So, 
fucking i think it's just taken this whole new wave because we like our generation grew up with social media so it's all our humor right the one we grew up with but then like that's why fucking spongebob owned memes for the longest time in my opinion that's why i think spongebob owned i think that the reason why spongebob is on so many tiktoks to vines to instagrams to memes to everything twitter right fuck it is because it was our age group that did it and now that we're grown up and either like retired or doing other shit is fucking these uh these new kids with their other shit that i'm that i'm so i'm too old to understand yeah man no <laughs> right. i can see that i see i see the wave changing it's uh it's less spongebob it's so and more different. anime like i don't know if you noticed that i am so happy for that bro yeah <laughs> <laughs> Let's spon- SpongeBob more anime, man. Uh, yeah, this way I, I work with students or I, I work with uh, teenagers right now, and that's all they fucking care about. And I'm all like, damn. And they asked me today, like, what was your favorite TV show growing up as a kid? And I'm all like, I don't know. You, you guys remember Recess? Like, that was my shit back in the day. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> I'm like, I'm like yeah. Recess. <laughs> Um, but yeah, you know, it's interesting though. Cause I talk to these kids about, um, the animes they be watching and like mm-hmm. the stories are great. Like, I'm like, holy shit. That's what they're talking about. Um, right. I'll, I'll give you a premise of one. Maybe you're familiar with it. I, for, I already forgot the name, but it's this dude who lost his memories. Um, and then his, his old, <laughs> his old memories are coming back as, as like this figure that's with him. So it's like his imagination is this new per- like this person that's following him around which is him from his past and he's that's that per- insane and wow. that's Sorry, excuse me that's wild yeah and that person wow. is trying to trying to get him to remember all the shit he forgot but he's very resisting he's like i don't know you i don't know who you are like stay away no one else <laughs> cool dude <laughs> yeah I, I i forgot what the name was i'll get the name again from the kid and i'll let you know <laughs> but again bro like, i was like what a story like <laughs> That's that's what dude. I have this friend like <laughs> one, one, one of my closest homies. Like he has a talent for going like he'll say, he'll say like the whole just like you did right, and that and he'll be like that's just the first episode. And I was like, <laughs> Fuck, dude. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I am like that for show sure, with TV shows and shit. Um, no, dude. And you, are you into like consuming media like you know TV shows, movies, and all that, or is that that's it's, not your thing? it's embarrassingly too much anime (laughs) (laughs) it's it's embarrassing yo shameless plug so i just started watching one piece i'm just about to get to the part with ace and i'm I'm gonna i'm I'm gonna do a reaction check that shit out kyle from work hey how many episodes did it get you to to get to the ace part (laughs) (laughs) i think oh dude i'm past a thousand i remember oh wait no, no 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 i'm not i'm not i'm not i'm not i'm not Bro, I'm, you almost caught me bullshitting again, bro. Hey, man, you know, I got you, dog. I got you. It's all good. I'm not bullshitting about weeb shit, son. <laughs> well, I appreciate you catching yourself. And, like, you know, you're like, wait a second. I ain't got to be fake on here. Let me be real real quick. So I appreciate that. <laughs> no, because honestly, I, try, I tried to start it. And I watched the first episode. And I'm all like, all right, let me see how much, how long this thing is. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, <laughs> We'll spend my next 10 years of my life watching One Piece. Like, <laughs> no, dude, like I, I am, um, what's it called? I'm on 474. I, I, I hella undercut that shit. Anyway. I, and that's when that Ace comes so in. Deep, bro. <laughs> that shit is so deep. I'm about to hit the halfway port. Let's go. I'm about to hit the time skip. If that gets anyone stoked um, in, the, in, the, in the comments right there. Damn, there's a time skip too. That's pretty crazy. I like yeah, that. What, I like you know, the time I didn't skip. know there was a time skip. I just saw all the memes, and sometimes it was like Nami, the orange hair girl with, with short hair, and then with long hair. And then it was like, oh, it's the fucking uh, thing. Yeah, the, that's a time skip. Probably. That's what's Dude, that? you want to hear something crazy? Go for it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I, I looked up, I think it was like the most of 2020 or 2021, like the highest grossing franchises from like um, from Disney to to One Piece to like around animes, MTV, like these different franchises, right? I don't know how reputable the source is, but One Piece beat Star Wars in 2020. 
and I Whoa. talked so much shit to my girlfriend because she was more <laughs> like Star Wars and I was more anime. We were trying to cross each other's like entertainments, and I was just like, "Fuck you!" <laughs> Damn, One Piece beat Star Wars. Isn't that that's, wild? Dude? That's wild because you know it's, it, apparently it's like it's huge in other in in like Japan and other countries. I'm for sure Japan. I don't know about other ones. And I, I I could be remembering this conversation wrong, but I remember asking like like more than Pokemon. They were like, "Yeah." And I was like, I, I could be remembering that completely wrong too, but yeah, that's that was so like just the business side of things is so like <laughs> we win. Damn, <laughs> Adam, man. Is, Adam is winning, bro. Like it is the time, son. I I mean now I feel like I'm missing like this cultural force by not watching One Piece. Like, what am I missing? <laughs> but like you know, like if everybody in the world is on it, and I'm I'm just like ah. <laughs> No, I like it more than Naruto, honestly. Whoa! All right, yeah, dude. It's like it's like it's easier to watch, like because you know Naruto is like you get you get plot point, plot point, plot point, and then it comes full circle and you're fucked, right? One Piece is like really like it usually is like more for kids, and like if there's a big big battle scene, they'll do a map at the beginning of the episode, like this is where Luffy is, this is where this fight is, this is the destination, and then it'll it'll be like it's like dumb moments where like he wouldn't do that move, that'd be too stupid. Oh shit, he did it. Oh, that's pretty funny. Like it's it's funnier than Naruto. I'll say, I'll Word. say so far, so far, dude. Yeah. Well, so I'm pretty um, like oblivious to to a lot of anime. I'll be honest, I haven't sure. haven't jumped dove into too many i could name like the five that i've watched and i don't know could you consider all of them as as animes but uh you ever seen golden boy yeah oh yeah so golden boy is one of them i've seen <laughs> it's like it's <laughs> and, and bro the thing about golden boy is that <laughs> i've had like 15 jobs in 10 years and my friends <laughs> always tell me you're a fucking golden boy like <laughs> Uh, and then like, I, I didn't I didn't watch it, but like my like one of my best friends in high school was super into it, and he would tell me the storyline, and I was just like, "Damn, bro, that 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 shit is intense, bro. Like that's your starter, man. I thought you'd say something like <laughs> like Gundam or something like that is a that's like that is, that is a that is a weeb classic. I've never seen it, but like I hear that it's really respected." It, it, I mean, it's a crazy ass story, and it's short. It's right. like you know, one season right. only or something like that. But uh, right. now my homie was just like, "Hey, you need to watch that because if you, since you jump a lot of jobs, you're gonna like you know relate to that <laughs> shit." And I'm like, "All right." <laughs> and then um, when One Punch Man, I watched. That was cool. I enjoyed that. Yeah, um, right. Fucking what else? And then uh, everything else is like that American anime. So you know, Digimon, sure. Pokemon. Uh, I mean, call. Yeah, I uh, I count it, bro. Air Airbender is that is that a? Oh, I totally count it. Yeah, I totally counted it. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So totally, bro. And of um, course the DBZ, and I think that's the six oh, that I've watched yeah, in my bro. life. <laughs> I I, actually, I didn't get into D because that was like my older brother's shit. You oh know? shit! You ever have that? Like this is just like it's like that's that's his stuff. I ain't gonna touch it. Oh, you, you making me feel old? But yes, I I know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like my my girlfriend got into it. Um, like that was like the first anime that like she got obsessive with, and like I remember thinking like, like oh fuck yeah she's finally into anime, and I was like that's the one I never fucking you learn more about the one I don't know dude like it hit my pride so bad. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's a great opportunity for you to kind of like you know to it's watch with it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> oh, you know what I just started watching was a uh, Studio Ghibli stuff. Or am I saying it right? Um, but yeah, uh, Ghibli, I believe. Ghibli. I, yeah, I think I could be wrong. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, we're American, so we might be butchering all that shit. But uh, yeah, I mean, finally watched Spirited Away. That was my first one, and I was like, damn, this is this is way different from what I'm used to, as far as like you know, the the uh, the, the limits or the things that they push in it. Of like, right. this is hella different. But I I can dig it. Can't wait to to get more. Um, that's a that's for uh, Hayao Miyazaki, dude. He's definitely top tier uh, inspirations of mine, dude. I uh, I want his square glasses because of him and Elton John. <laughs> Damn, that's what's up. That's what's up. I didn't even know Elton rocked the, the square glasses. So that's yeah, back, back in the day, like the the more um, uh, he like 
like when he was in the Dodger game with the fucking the shiny suit and shit, the one that Harry Styles did. <laughs> I think that was square glasses. I could be good. But, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah that, that, that's a look, man, and, and you pulling <laughs> you. it off. So do you? Do you? Appreciate you. Appreciate uh, you. But uh, all right, man. Well, t- to be real with you, we made it to the last ten minutes of the podcast. Um, cool, man. Survive. Okay, man. <laughs> I want to thank you for for stopping by again. I hope you have. It looks like you've been having fun, and you know I've been having a great time. Too. Like, <laughs> bro, I was gonna ask you what your secret was because you're not red. <laughs> so <Not> like, sure. <laughs> it, it's the lighting. It's the lighting. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, man. Before we get to the final stretch, uh, got a, this thing called the thirty fourth mantra. It's got wants you to fill in the blanks real quick. But uh, this one is I am blank. I am. Uh, hold on. Take this your is, time. Take your time. Gonna, this is something I used to say to myself. Uh, I come back to it every now and then. Uh, I'm strong. I am confident. I am love. That's that's like sure. that, one, that one's that one's it. Yeah. Well, the, the second blank is uh, I can blank. I can take a break. Yeah, yeah. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. And uh, the last one is I will blank. I will. Be proud of my work because I'll have fun. For sure, man. For sure. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, now when once you make it, man, I hope you can like take this mantra that you just made and just like clip it up so you always remember it for yourself. Uh, but yeah, three, four, shout out. <laughs> but uh, yeah, made it to the final stretch, bro. And uh, just got a few closeout questions for you. <laughs> Uh, my this question is actually from my previous guest. Um, sh- shout out to Wacko from Wacko Donuts or Wack Donuts. My bad, Wacko. Uh, <laughs> but his question for you is: uh, Do you have any regrets at this point? Damn, that's cool. It just came like the. It's like <laughs> it's like you're in a drive. <laughs> Sorry, it's like you're in a drive thru and just like you know what. I got the guy behind me. You know what I mean? Like, that's so cool. Anyway. Um, yes. That's what it's like. That's what it's like. <laughs> that's so funny. Um, I don't know if you have a name for that, but I'd like to call it the drive through miracle. Uh, yes. Yeah. Fucking go, dude. <laughs> I, I endorse the drive through miracle for sure. Fucking you, bro. Anyway. Um, Cheers, man. Do I have any regrets? I've been working with um, taking all the responsibility for myself. Like, something happened we're in a group setting something goes wrong i gotta fix it like ask for help you know what i mean um i'm struggling with that and i'm learning to do better right now and um it's lonely not to ask for help bro when you're trying to take all that yourself and uh fucking you don't have to it's cool yeah that's it why why you think it's so hard to ask for help? I feel you. I feel like I'm in that same boat, but yeah, for you, why why you think it's hard to? We don't have enough time, bro. Hmm. Uh, actually, ah, uh, that's uh that's from a uh, that's from Pete Davidson. He did that. Oh, what what what, what, what do you mean? What would Pete D- Davidson say? <laughs> he was like, he was doing some crowd work, and this dude was telling a story about how he lives with his like ex girlfriend and current girlfriend and then he was just and then Pete Davis is just like we don't have enough time to talk about this situation and it's just that delivery I was like I can't think of a different way to say it it's totally off topic but I get you I get you we don't have we don't got the time we don't have enough time we don't have enough time over that shit I would love to bro but that's hey. that's like part two um, when, when, whenever you come through again my family like what was that my- bringing like mm. like that's that's deep i would love to man keep the hard questions coming bro that's yeah. a i feel you though yeah it is we do not have time to to fully flesh it out and give it the the, the time it needs sometimes um, i will say i will say 
I when we do get to it, I, I am confident that I'll be able to explain it well. You know, okay. I mean, I'm confident it'll be ready. You know what I mean? I, I wanna I wanna be ready for that shit. You know what I'm saying? Well, we'll start it off with that. With that, I will. When we oh, revisit God. it for part two, I'll just be like, "Hey, man, I know last time you were on here, you said we didn't have time, so let's start it off right now." Because it might take us the whole oh, shit, episode. Oh <laughs> it might go. take us the whole let's episode. Go. Uh, for sure. And uh, you know, I, I want to. This is like something I just want to let you know, and so you don't get canceled. I don't want you to get canceled, bro. Uh, earlier, you said spirit animal, right? That used to be one of my questions. Like, oh, what's your spirit animal? And then somebody uh, told me was like, "Yo, you're appropriating in Native American uh, like culture," oh, and I'm like, "Fuck, dude, that's what looks, I." Dude. <laughs> so dude, <it> <laughs> you don't want to go up there, and someone be like racist right. yeah, or something. Nah, <laughs> um, it's all yeah. fucking. I'm, I hear you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I had to change the question to like, you remember what they used to call the the animal that in Harry Potter, where you know you would like. Oh yeah. The- I when forgot what it's called. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but cat or owl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you change, switch it up to that. Like, if you're gonna talk about okay. your spirit animal, just be like, yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Good looks, dude. I'll keep that in mind, dude. And honestly, yeah. it, it 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 caught me off guard. I was like, damn, I really didn't mean to. I thought I was like paying homage, but I guess right. it can be seen that way too. You know, and uh, just know your audience, right? That's that's the big thing. It's like you just know know who you're talking to. <laughs> um, <laughs> But uh, <laughs> my next question for you, man, is what would you like to ask the next guest that comes on to 34 questions? No. <laughs> Do you know how to play one of the odds? <laughs> one of the odds? You know how to play one of the odds? I'm, I'm, I'm just going to ask that question. We can come back to that later, but fuck, I'm trying to think of... I, I thought of something stupid, and now I can't think of anything else. <laughs> Hey man, do you? It's a, you're a comedian, so like we could go stupid if you like. <laughs> uh, in a way, find a way to dare them, please, to do all hard. Just let's just like start a train of everyone doing all hard questions. <laughs> it's like, and then he dared, and then at the end of my 34, he dared me into all hard, and then all hard questions, and then he dared. They, this, they do dare me to all hard questions, and she dared me. And blah, 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 blah. <laughs> oh, here we go. You, I, th- I believe you just added something to the end of the show where I will ask, ask the, uh, you know, depending on how the conversation goes, who the guest is, but I will ask them, would you like to leave a question or would you like to leave a dare? Because uh, that's that's pretty interesting. That's a little twist right there. And, you know, like it could be a positive dare, you know, <laughs> like I dare you to do, you know, like something out of your comfort zone tomorrow or some shit like that. But uh, that's wild, dude, I like that. Like, I like that. I like that, too, man. And also by suggesting it, I don't have to be the first one to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, even if someone dared you to do do all the hard you, you wanted to do them anyway. <laughs> okay. I like that. I like that. I will uh I will find a way to incorporate that. Let's uh, go, bro. <laughs> and uh but my last question for you, the question that ties everything together is, you know, a couple of generations from now, let's say 100, 200 years, your your descendants are watching this video. What would you like to tell them? My descendants will hear that granddaddy Kyle will. Ah, fuck, that's hard, dude. That's very hard. Like, um, I want granddaddy Poppy Kyle to say, that's what I call my dad. I, I want him to know he have friends around him. That's, yeah. Yeah, he had friends around him. Yeah. That's For sure. Yeah. Right. I got you. I got you. Right. Uh, that's it. Yeah. Any any last things you'd like to add before we head out of here? Uh excuse me for any what I've offended. <laughs> uh, we'll see. Uh my comment box is always open. Follow me at 444 Kyle from work. Uh I've 
<laughs> I've been um, or our Instagram call from work. I, I, I thought of this this tagline. Uh, uh, this has been I, I, I am Kyle from work. Meet me at the water cooler if you want to chat. Yeah, okay. check out the water cooler, <laughs> but, <laughs> but uh, want to thank you again, Kyle, for for stopping by. Thank uh, you, Thirty Four. It has been an absolute pleasure, brother. Yeah, I can't wait to do it again. Let's run it back sometime. Uh, <laughs> want to thank the folks out there if you're listening, tuning in, you know, Spotify, Apple, wherever you're checking it out. Appreciate y'all time as well. Uh, if you liked it, please like it. If you loved it, drive and share. Um, and remember to reach out, reach forward. As always, much love. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time on 34 Questions. Peace. And Thank then, uh, yeah, man. So this is like the after credits, you know, if anyone's staying for the credits. But uh, I never got to ask you on the show, 444. What's up with that? Oh, so um, do you know anything about like angel numbers? Yes, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, should so should I like look it up? Re- like what four four four? Yeah, so, so, so like the repeat numbers is like basically something, some type of message to you. And four 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 means that like the angels are watching you if you see that around, or your guardian angels watching you. And it means that they either see you at your best times when you're like, hey man, I'm here for you, or like are at your worst time, like hey man, I'm here for you. Like I don't know why they're high or lower, but um, yeah, <laughs> no. Um, yeah, and it's also been, it's just been, it's followed me my whole life. Like, I remember when I started doing all these different things, like I did, I did basketball as a kid. I did, I did uh, singing competitions. I was always fourth place. <laughs> Word. <laughs> that's just all, that's just always funny to me. And then like, since I've done it, like I've been seeing it so much more and I felt so much connected to whatever higher power, you know what I mean? It's like, I'm figuring it out. I don't know what it is, but I, it's working. So. Yeah. yeah, I feel good. Yeah. I got you. Uh, what's it called?